zombie apocalypse. Hello everyone, welcome back to Eco Talks with Sneha Manerika. In this session, I'll tell you some important tips for tomorrow's PhD CET. So first, let me tell you important concepts from each topics. First one is microeconomics. Before going to exam, have a look on the these topics from microeconomics. That is utility two schools, cardinal and ordinal schools, and what are the, which are the economics in the both cardinal theory and ordinal theory. Next is the indifference indifference curve, PPC curve. These definitions and uh, what are the uh, uh, point of and what is meant by point of tangency between the ISO cost and uh, indifference curve. Then. Increase in demand, decrease in demand, and extension and contraction of demand. So, have a look on these graphs. The next important concept is elasticities. On linear demand, what is the elasticity of demand and how it is calculated? Next, income elasticity. For different goods, what is the income elasticity? For normal good, inferior good, luxuries, and necessities. Next, we have important concept is cross elasticity in case of substitutes and complements, and what is its change in price and change in quantity. These are the important tables you should have a look today before uh, exam. Then next is the increasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale, and constant return to scale. When it is called as increasing returns to scale, depending upon the distance between indifference curve. So that all points just once revise. Next is the relationship between the cost, the marginal cost, average variable cost, and average total cost. These all things I have covered in the previous videos. Then what is the relationship between the production curves and cost curves? They are the mirror images. So question may be asked like, when MPP is increasing, what happens to the marginal cost? So for this, remember, just have a look on the graph of production curve and cost curve. Next is the in market structures. Now, what is the break even point? What is the shutdown point? So these are this is the important graph. Then next is normal profit, super normal profit and loss. When a firm incurs no, uh, normal profit, when a firm incurs super normal profits and what is the condition for incurring losses? So have a look on these three graphs. Next the topic is macroeconomics. In macroeconomics, first important major important concept is national income. Different definitions of national income like GDP, GNP, disposable income, taxes. Those all just have, have a look on the definitions on the various concepts under national income. Then types of unemployment, structural, classical. Those just uh, have a look on the definitions. Then consumption and saving. That is average propensity of consumption, marginal propensity of consumption, average propensity to save, and marginal propensities to save. The formulas and the relationship. Then multiplier and accelerator. The formulas of multiplier and accelerator plus the uh, relationship between the marginal propensity to consume and multiplier. Next is econometrics. From econometrics, major question will be from the definitions of autocorrelation, multicollinearity, and heteroscedicity. Sure, last, in the last year, we are autocorrelation, multicollinearity, as well as heteroscale. Three definitions were asked in the different uh, set. Like uh, uh, for autocorrelation, it was the direct question. In multicollinearity, it was somewhat uh, different. In heteroscedicity, uh, what will happen if assumption of homoscedicity is not followed? Such types of questions will come. So please. Uh, check the definitions of these three concepts. Then blue, that is best, linear, unbiased, and efficient. What is mean by these four assumptions? Then which are the te various tests for autocorrelation, multicollinearity, heteroscedicity? For example, for autocorrelation, we have Durbin Watson test. Likewise, for multicollinearity and heteroscedicity, we have different tests. Just look, have a look which tests are for which uh, this one, which concepts. Next is from statistics. Statistics measure of central tendency and deviations. Central tendency is mean, median, mode, and deviation is uh, about the mean deviation, standard deviation, range, 
coefficient of variation just uh, see the definition and its formula then regression and correlation uh, uh, which is dependent on origin of scale and uh, change in scale and origin that you see then what are the uh, co coefficient of regression and coefficient of correlation the range of the both and in distributions it is binomial normal and poisson distribution what are the criteria when which distribution is used these are the important points to be look for in statistics next is production economics in production economics also just uh, have a look on the classical stages of production that is stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and in each stage what will happen to total product marginal product and average product and the relationship the inflection point is in stage 1 where at the uh, starting of stage 2 ap and mp is equal and in third stage mp is negative so these are on this graph only there are uh, almost 10 to uh, 15 questions can be framed from which one or two questions will be appearing in exam so i just look at the graph and try to summarize whatever we have covered in the previous videos next will be same again classical production function with the uh, elasticity of production in first stage it was greater than 1 in second stage it is less than 1 and third stage it is less than 0 so surely any of the elasticity of production can be asked the next one will be the ridge lines so what are the ridge line what will happen on the ridge line which is economic region which is which is an economic region those are all the and uh, which uh, ridge line marginal product will be zero that that all things just try, revise it today next is farming types and system under types we have diversified specialized mixed ranching and branch whereas in the systems we have cooperative peasant state and capitalistic so look at the definitions and again cooperative we have four classifications better cooperative joint cooperative those all things just once revise any of the definition or uh, identify the type can be asked then for agriculture marketing and finance first is the institutions and year of establishment like in marketing we have niyam uh, uh, then uh, in case of finance we have nabard uh, either establishment year and also the full form ex expansion will also be asked then committee and its recommendation example single window system was given by mohan kanda then uh, msp was suggested by which committee so these are committee and the recommendations these are important the market classification and example that is based on uh, area of coverage commodity deal the, those classification with examples and also example mainly last year question was asked was example for oligopsony market so it is sugar industry is the example for oligopsony market then direct marketing like uh, apne mandi is in which state followed in which state that is punjab so that is direct marketing in which state which type of direct marketing is followed then chairman of nabard wto rbi also uh, the uh, revised rbi rates just have a look on the revised rbi rates i have covered this in one of the uh, part of agriculture finance just go through it then classification of credit based on security based on term based on uh, what is the uh, contact with the farmers then administered price that is um, msp procurement price issue price and last is financial ratio that is liquid asset ratio then solvency ratio liquidity ratios these are they have a look on the formulas so these are the important points from agriculture marketing and finance that is last minute revision you have to do for this concepts this is here i have given the chart of classification of market based on different criteria just have look on this classification then important one more important concept from marketing is marketable surplus and marketed surplus remember the definition of both marketable as well as marketed surplus then utility marketing creates utility then remember these four types of utility and, and which marketing functions create which form of utilities so, so four utilities form place time and possession then under cooperative credit say remember three tier and two tier for long term two tier is followed for uh, short term and medium term three tier is followed as well as for marketing also two tier structure is followed so just have look on this chart 
then phases of nationalization remember the two phases and what were the criteria and how many banks were nationalized in each phases then in linear programming assumptions of linear programming that is linearity divisibility certainty and what a slack variables and surplus variable last time slack and surplus variable both were asked in which case we'll uh, use slack variables in which cases we use surplus variables so minimization and maximization we, which cases we use that slack and surplus variable in simplex method who has given the simplex method that question may be asked then types of solution that is basic solution optimum solution basic feasible solution these all definitions i have covered in the linear programming part then next uh, this objective function constraints and non negative restriction what is meant by objective function what are the constraints and non negative restriction just once look at the definitions of all these then in research methodology research types uh, action research uh, applied research just have look on that then research process i have given you the chart of research process have look uh, let us from identification of problem till the report writing have a look on the research process and tools of data collection that is observation interview personal uh, in, interview telephonic interview mailing questionnaire all this that we have covered in the today's video itself so have look on this research methodology then important points to remember read the instructions on admit card carefully then while going to exam don't forget to carry your admit card black ball pen sanitizer water bottle and mask and try to reach exam center at least 30 minutes before the exam then while filling the answer sheet fill it correctly like your seat number whatever your roll number then uh, questions uh, booklet number on answer sheet and answer booklet number on question paper that is a very important don't uh, hurry to write the your, your seat number or roll number on the answer sheet because you cannot use the whitener or anything once you have done the mistake your whole exam will be ruined so be very careful while filling your answer sheet then don't miss the question number what as your exam is now offline mode what will happen if you don't know any answer suppose for 10 number question you don't know the answer then you know the answer of 11th number just while marking the 11th number answer just see that you have left the row of 10th number otherwise instead of marking your uh, and in front of 11th number you are marked for 10th number your further whole series will get wrong even though you know the correct answer so don't miss the question number while answering see the serial number correctly and stay calm and have patience if you don't uh, and you are not remembering anything just read the question one, twice thrice so you'll certainly remember the answers by seeing the options and if it the options or uh, if the question is very confusing try to go by elimination method that is read the four options try to eliminate one of one by one options so you can reach the appropriate uh, answer and there is no negative marking so don't leave any questions just answer all the questions you have enough two hours timing two hours time you have more than enough you can cover all the questions don't do hurry don't answer in hurry read calmly each question sometimes many times we miss not word so which are the not the characteristics of market so in hurry what we will miss the word, reading the word not so don't do that read the question properly read the question twice and then go for marking because if you mark sing once on the omr sheet that will be your answer you cannot re recorrect it so answer it very calmly after exam you can very whichever you feel doubtful you leave it after e answering easy questions you can answer the remaining uh, difficult questions so stay calm while answering that is a very important in case of offline method when you are answering on the omr sheet then with this we complete our uh, series on complete preparation of on mcr phd cet all the best for your exam you have studied hard till now so your preparation you have done to the best so your exam results will be also best don't worry about the result just give your best all the best for your exams and thank you for all your support for throughout the series and after this series now i'll come with in detail uh, explanation of each topics like whatever we are, was the syllabus for 
एक एम एस सी दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन द ने अपकमिंग सीरीज सो डोंट डोंट फॉरगेट टू वॉच द अपकमिंग वीडियोज बीन टच and if you have any doubts or any queries after the exam you can ask me in the comment section you will be your uh, all queries will be surely clarified by me so and uh, also share the channel with the upcoming aspirants for the phd ct also with the msc students because for them also same syllabus is there so share with the all the msc economic students so that it may help them in preparation not only for phd ct but also net i'll uh, start series on now uh, also for net that is icr net what are the important questions how to study all the whatever study material is required books best books for reading those all will be covered in the upcoming videos stay tuned on my channel eco talk and share with all the um, economics uh, aspirants who wants who are studying for various exams don't forget to like share and subscribe all the best for your exam mm -hmm.